I'm Cape Jewel, and this is Comic Smack, your weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic show where I give you your fix of everything you need to know from the world of comic books and superheroes. And on today's show, we're taking a closer look at Deathstroke, issue number two. Slade Wilson and Winter Green are trying to find the man that screwed them over. What will happen next? Let's hop on in together and find out, shall we? All right, so as the comic opens up, we are treated to yet another flashback of the home life for Slade Wilson and his family. Needless to say, it wasn't exactly domestic bliss now, was it? One kid ran away, the other kids being completely ignored, and Mom is on the warpath to try and get Dad back from his murder missions. In fact, the flashback segments end with Jericho getting kidnapped, and you're reminded, oh yeah, that's right, we all actually know where this story ends, and it's super tragic. Now, in the present, Wintergreen and Deathstroke are attempting to find out who sold the butler out back in Africa. And from there, we get an oh-so-classic military man Deathstroke type of story. The only person who could have screwed us over was someone on our team. We need to get the band back together and see who knows what. First up is this British barman. Our heroes don't find out much, but what they do discover is the man they're looking for goes by the name Raz. Now, which one of Deathstroke's many bloody, bloody missions do you think turned around to bite him in the ass this time? Well, we flash back to figure that out, too. Well, it seems to involve a Homong madam who was actually very important to the CIA. The Homong, you'll remember, are a group of people who actually helped out the Americans during the Vietnam War. This lady was operating a safe house for American soldiers on important missions, and by the sounds of it, Slade had actually hunkered down with this lady for at least three years. And what happened in those three years? Well, they must have done a fair amount of boot knocking because, hey everybody, look, it's Rose Wilson, Slade's daughter. Jeez, the dysfunctional family dynamics keep on building, don't they? Back in the present, Deathstroke decides to chase down another lead, the tech man on his team, a guy who goes by the name Dr. Icon. It would seem Dr. Icon was actually the guy who built Deathstroke his first super suit, only recently he's turned over a new leaf after a lifetime of evil. He's gotten good with Jesus, and now he's trying to make it as a superhero. He also didn't sell Deathstroke and Wintergreen out, although he was approached by the same people. Who was the real rat? Well, it should be obvious. It's the barman who we found out was crippled in that Hamong attack. Oh, but this quest for revenge is going to have to be put on the old back burner, though, because Deathstroke already has a new target. And that, as the comic ends, we find out is none other than the Ravager, a.k.a. Rose Wilson, a.k.a. his daughter. Dun, dun, dun. Deathstroke number two ended up being another surprisingly solid issue. I cannot believe I am so deeply invested in a Deathstroke book right now. I love the action, the style, the attitude, and in only three issues, they pretty much brought in all the supporting Deathstroke characters I actually care to see, which is a feat in and of itself. If I had one minor complaint, the Pulp Fiction-y approach to events, you know, gets a little little bit grating at times. I mean, I never question whether I'm in the past or the present, it just feels very choppy at times. Overall though, I'd feel comfortable giving this one a 7.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video, I hope you enjoyed it, and while you're here, why not check out another video I have on offer, or maybe if you're feeling in a supportive mood, you want to like or subscribe. And if you want to support the creation of more videos just like this one, then please, by all means, check out the Cape Joel Patreon, a little bit goes a very long way, and I will see you all next time.